Hey, what's up? This is Minnesota 36 with another toy review. And today I'm going to look at Fans Toys Terminus Giganticus. Uh, their homage to Omega Supreme. And it's a big set. It's a big figure, big box. Uh, I have the G1 Omega Supreme and MP10 in the shot just to show size comparisons. And it's pretty big. Uh, this is only the first half of the figure, so I can't show all of it for obvious reasons, but I'll take a look at what's in the box in this video and show you what comes with it. Again, this is Fans Toys Omega Supreme Terminus Giganticus. And in the box you get the instructions with the collector's card, and this is the big styrofoam box it comes in. And here's a closer look at the instructions. Uh, it's typical fans toys looking instructions with the card. And this is the contents in the box. As you can see, it's nicely stored. You have the tank and the tracks, the corner tracks, the backpack and the chest plate, the extra chest plate. And this is how it comes in the box. Just a quick shot once again with G1 Omega and MP10. And you can see the size difference. Omega's kind of blocking the view, but I'll show it in greater detail a little bit later. Okay, right now I'm gonna take a look at the weight of the figure. Now, this is just a tank. The tank is, this is in grams, 1,347 grams. Okay, just to get a weight comparison, I have MP10, which is at 419. Uh, the tank alone is more than three times the weight. Uh, let me get G1 Omega. G1 Omega is 812 completed still not as heavy as a tank we have bad cube warpath 272 we have make toys to hardhead 612 grams now this is just one track from the Omega one track alone is 285 so you multiply that by 2 and you have 571 just the tracks alone are more than MP10. This is how heavy this thing is. Now the backpack is 650. Now I'm pretty bad at math, but you can do the math. It's a pretty, pretty hefty figure. And here's the tank of the Omega figure. And this thing is heavy. Big ratchet, ratchet on it, and this thing rolls. It doesn't really roll on the treads, it just rolls on these parts here. These things are rubber and plastic. You can change this part. This is where the uh, you can change the clear piece or the solid piece. I chose to go with the solid piece, and you can see the figure here. It is a very nice looking piece. Here are some size comparisons uh, with tanks. This is Bad Cube Warpath, which is a fairly large tank as it is, but the Omega just dwarfs this figure. It's not even close. And here he is with the Mick Toys hardhead. And the hardhead is a pretty large figure. But again, the Omega just towers it. The 
tank is well made. There's the rubber treads, a lot of die cast parts uh, on the inside. Uh, on the outside, it's all plastic pieces, but a very strong, sturdy, thick plastic. You can open this and rotate the head for robot mode. And it's a nice looking head there. And here's the truck part. Of course, you get two of these. And it opens up and folds up. Of course, this becomes the track and the wing for Omega. And the tank does fit on it. It doesn't. The tank doesn't uh, lock in or anything. It just sits there for decoration. But it does. It is the appropriate size. Here are the accessories it comes with and the replacement uh, clear chest part, chest piece. You have the extra red crotch piece, you can add it to the figure if you like. And the fan toys card and the instruction books, which is pretty well made. Uh, nice colored pictures, easy to follow instructions. And here is the backpack part of the figure. Very nice some detail. Nice uh, tamographs here. Well painted. You can see some of the swirl paints on there. Very nice. Well made. Nice and strong plastic. Now there are some die cast parts in here as well. It's are very loud, very strong, very sturdy sounding. And here is the place where you put the wings. And there's the backpack. And once again, this is only half of the figure, so I can't really show off the alt mode. But you do get the tank, the two wings, the two tracks, the backpack, and the extra additional parts. And that is part A. And when part B comes in, uh, I can do a full review on it. Now let's take a look at the combine mode as much as we can. Okay, one point I forgot to mention here was you get an extra uh, visor for the face shield part and it is clear as opposed to the yellow uh, it does come with the figure i forgot to include it but you can change it if you like as for now i'm just going to leave the yellow on maybe in the future i'll change it up and here is the combined mode as much as we can and this thing is pretty impressive let me get MP10 in there. High size comparison. And as you can see, without the legs, we'll make it still pretty tall. He's also pretty wide, even without his arms. And here he is with G1 Omega. And once again, he's much larger. And you can see the faces. The fans toys is more tune accurate. Of course, the G1 toy is more G1 toy accurate, obviously. But overall, a nice homage to the original character. Now let's take a look at the rotation in his head. First, rotate there. Let me give you a let me give you a little sample of the arms. Actually, it's powerful. The 
There is a waist swivel here. And the legs. We'll see how it comes out. But it does seem pretty strong. And now let's take a look at this chest piece. Of course you could change it out with the clear piece. And you can switch out the crotch area part and put this here. So that's, I'm gonna leave it as it is for now. My overall thoughts of this figure, it's big, it's bad, it's huge, it's Omega. This is definitely a good figure. Well, I can't really judge completely because it's only half a figure. So we'll find out when the rest of the figure comes in. And hopefully I can get a full review at that time. Uh, if you're an Omega fan, if you're a Fans Toys fan, if you're a Transformers fan, this is a great figure. Uh, it is pricey, but I feel it is worth the price so far. Again, we'll see what happens when the final parts come in. Uh, but overall, I'm liking it so far. And that's my review for this first part of the figure. Uh, this is Minnesota 36. Uh, hopefully I'll be back with another toy review in the near future. Thank you for watching.